Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator at Franklin's Garage. This is your mechanic and host speaking, Andrew. And what we're going to do today is we are actually all going to go to the junkyard and see if we can find... I've been actually trying to find the BMW M4. So, let's see if we can find it. Hopefully it's at the junkyard. Hopefully. Maybe we can find another Porsche there too, one that I don't have yet. We'll see. But in this episode, we will be working on that supernova, getting that built and finished. And maybe, if we have time, we will end up doing the uh, Porsche 911 turbo that's inside. What's this? Kiran? Yeah. Huh. Not really up my alley right now. I'm going to take a little stroll. That looks like a, a roulette or um, the bandit. That would be the roulette. Hmm. Well, we already built one of them. Don't need to do another one right now. I checked on all the crevices and looking for it. Alright, let's go this way. See what we can find. Yeah, pickings are slim today, I tell you. What's this? The Reno? Reno Piccola. Yeah, not right now. Mama will have cars either stashed right here, right there, down that aisle over there, over there, but. Looks like you looks like we've already seen all that's here. So Yeah, there's no, pickings are slim today, I tell you. But alright. We're gonna head back to the garage and uh, we're gonna start working on the supernova. Stay tuned. Alright, welcome back to the garage. This is what we're going to be working on today. Right here. The 1969 Bolt Supernova, which comes with V8 OHV. And I'm a purist where I like to put Chevys and Chevys and Fords and Fords and Dodges and Dodges. For the most part. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to bring this to the car wash. Get her all spiffed out. Now in the last video I built the motor for this. So, it's one less thing we gotta do for it. Wash the body. Take the doors, the hood, strip it all down right here. And put all new parts in it on it 
Take out the headlights, the bumper. This motor probably would run maybe, I'm not sure. But I ain't gotta worry about it because we do have a motor that will run. So Alright. Oh, it's got all four wheels too, nice. Alright, let's bring it to out oh, front of the garage. And then I'm gonna swap this with and we're gonna we'll swap it with the with the pro car. Alright, first things first, we're gonna bring the welder over. Get that all fixed up. Ooh, cheap, nine hundred and fifty. Nice. And we're gonna buy some suspension components right now. And two of these. Two of those. Two of these. Four of these, one of those. Uh, it's got drum brakes in the rear, so we need two of the axle housing V's. Go down because it's not the rear cross member rear wheel drive, and it's either a leaf spring car or a coil spring car. You need rear shock absorber B. Uh, we need two axles. Steering rack, free bar and length B's, two upper control arms, wheel hub four, we need two of them, we need two bearings, and we need two caps, two calipers, two drums, two pads, one servo, two cylinders, and two brake shoes. And uh, we're gonna we probably gonna need a drive shaft too. Now the first challenge is finding wheels for this thing. Now it comes with 14s. Let's see what the size is. Uh, I think they're what, 205s? 195. Hmm. Doesn't really leave us much room for options. And the rule of thumb is, for every inch you go up on the on the wheel size, you got to take where it says 75. You got to drop it down five. So for me to go, we'll say 18s, I would probably have to bring it down. Probably do 50s. Now the question is, what kind of rims do we want to put on this thing? Hmm. Something different. Hmm. The possibilities in are endless, figuratively speaking. Do I want to go old school or do I want to go new school? Hmm. That is the question. Hmm. Got some Porsche wheels on it. And yes, I know it's pronounced Porsche. I just get lazy and don't want to say that uh, at the end. Uh, I'm going to take these ones. And now tires. Two eight. I'll go 255s for the rear. I'll go 50. 
Let's go see if that will work. Yeah, it might be too big. See, because we built the motor in the last video, I can show you all the steps that I have to do. Biggest concern is back here. Actually, that fits in there pretty good, I might have to say. Huh. The 18s do fit on the car. Fifty-five. So I'm wondering if I were to go to seventy-five, maybe get a little extra width to it. Okay, let's try that one. Alright guys, uh, I'll be back in just a moment here. Stay tuned. I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that one, guys. The uh, shop dog there had to go out, had to go do his business. Actually, what I want to try is I want to try putting a 20 on here. You know, I think 285 might be a little bit much, but actually, no, it's not. Huh. 20s fit on this thing at 285 huh the space nice okay so what we're actually going actually what we'll do right off the hop is we'll get rid of this one this one and we'll hook this and we'll get rid of these and we shall buy a set of 20s You know what, this time we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to take these ones. Yeah. here and it's a muscle car you know you gotta you gotta have chrome wheels on it right it's almost like a statement it's almost like mandatory oh, that's white that's no good that's no good there we go parts here. There we go. Look at that. Took off five pages of parts. Thirty twenty, perfect. We'll pull off the rest of these wheels. turning radius is going to be, but I don't know. Now, I know the fronts will fit. Very curious. No, get off of there. Very curious about the rears. Got some nice wide tires for the rear. before we go any further, which I should have did that after the one, but 
I'm a little slow like that. Alright, please hold on. Oh, it looks like they might fit. Oh yeah, they fit on there good. They actually look good too. Dang. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the car, put my welder back. And that's a beautiful porch. I think it is. Alright. First things first, we've got to drop the we're gonna take out the drive shaft. Well, unfreeze the bolts. And the transmission. Awesome. Now we're actually going to buy a transmission right now. Type F. Where are you? Oh, past you. Right here. The easiest way to build this car is everything is type F. Now we start ripping everything apart. Take a small rubber bushing out of the front. This is just the way I do it. And take out the U bolts, the plate, the shook, and the rear small rubber bushing. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a good day. The other shock. Come on, spin around. Spin around. There we go. Always gotta have that one nut on there, don't we? What? Well, get off of there. You're not wanted. Alright, now we go to the front. In fact, we're taking off the dust cap, the bearing, caliper pads, rotor, backing plate. All of them are frozen on this one. I'm going to take off the inner, outer and inner tie rods. Now the knuckle. And we start ripping out the bushings. This time we're going to take out the inner tie rod first, or the outer, the inner, the steering rack, the stabilizer, or sway bar link, the bar, the front shock, coil over, which I still got to assemble. And we're going to take out the upper arm, and we're going to do the same process the other side, just from the back side. lower control arm. That the bolts weren't stuck on this one. It is a pain when that happens. Huh. Let's see, what do we need 
front exhaust section OHVF and then I believe the rest of it is just the middle muffler and the rear muffler Of these not too far everything's been shifted around on here now two of these and where oh there they are and two of these I think oh we also need these two OHVC And two of those, perfect. Now I, I need to take these off because if not, the motor won't come out. Awesome, time to pull the motor. things I didn't buy. A, oh only one for now. And better grab a starter just in case since we're here. Uh, may, as well do the, may as well grab the interior too. Alright, where are you? Supernova. Now it's not an extremely quick fast car so I don't really need to worry about putting in racing seats. If I had to guess, I'd say the car's probably going to be running about uh, 500 to 540 horsepower. That's if I had to guess. So, doesn't need to be nothing too extravagant. Uh, and body panels I'll get when it goes to the paint shop. And I also believe I forgot the radiator, but... Alright, relay type A. Ooh, where are we going here? I'm not done over here. I'm gonna do it, put the bees in. And two C's. Medium. Can't wait to see what the large fuse is. These ones are the small ones. I'm grateful I have to put in. Master cylinder. Ooh, I do have some. Perfect. Ooh, don't have any of those though. Ooh, no. Where do the wise always keep five on hand? Because the shop can hold five cars, so. Take six because this car needs one. Got a few of them. Alright. back up in the air and start assembling the suspension. Now do I have a fuel tank? I don't think I bought one yesterday because it was only assembling the motor. Some days I swear I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. Like, where's the field tank? Huh? Alright, well. One way to find it. Alright. Alright. 
me, I like to put the fuel tank in first, the fuel pump, which I'm not understanding why it's got a electronic fuel, like the style fuel pump when it's carbureted. And we got no fuel pressure regulator. Put in the front exhaust, the middle mufflers. Leaf springs and the front rubber bushing, spring plate, U bolts, and I'm forgetting to do something. Perfect, now we've got them all done, now we can finish to putting the rest of it together. Alright, let's put the rear shock in. The rear small bushing. Cylinder, shoes and drum. Now I put the wheel on. 285, 30, 20. Might have to say it's looking pretty sharp on there. Leaf spring. Front rubber bushing just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall. Put the plate on to attach to the axle. New bolts to clamp it down, make sure it doesn't move. Then the drum, then the wheel can go on. Front cross member, now we're in the front of the car. Put this in. And when it comes to these exhaust pipes, you don't put them in until the motor's in the car, or it will not let you put them in. Or it will not let you put the motor in if you put those in first. Found that one out the hard way. Many times. Put the inner tie rod in. Steering knuckle C. The upper control arm on. Got a few of them by the looks of it. Lower. Put the outer tie rod on. The coil over. The end link. Ew, ew, no, that's nasty. Ugh. Uh, let's go with these ones. Here later in FedEx ain't got nothing on my guys. They deliver those parts instantly. I love it. Am I forgetting a wheel here? Now we're on to the other side. Left side, left side. I 
Now I'm pretty sure the front should fit because if the rears fit, that's a smaller smaller area we'll say than what the fronts are, so. size in the front by the looks of it. Oh, is that ever tiny, 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 tiny. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, let's go grab the motor. And that big beautiful thing. Didn't finish the motor by the looks of it. Huh, we put the top air breather cover on. All right. I don't know why it's 100%, it ain't finished. There, now it's finished. Alright. Start right here. Put the windshield washer fluid in. Steering fluid. Remember, only to the max one. And oil, which is over here. Freeze. All right, let's put this over at Porsche. Let's rip out the old craptacular interior and in with the new. No, no point in trying to start it because there's no battery in this thing. Now let's see if it's going to start. Right off the manifolds. Well, I'm bright. Kind of need something to turn the motor over, huh? Shaft in. Now let's see if we can get up there. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're in. Perfect. It runs. To the paint shop, we go. It's got a nice little rake to it. Beautiful. Uh, 
have the fun job of putting everything together on it. Uh, I put the wrong door on. Okay. Hmm. Putting that fender on really closed up the gap, didn't it? ready to throw some paint on it I was thinking red but after I was skimming through here looking for the chrome I forgot what the color I did in my Porsche that actually looks pretty good now we're going to put black stripes on it Perfect, look at that. Hoo wee! That's beautiful. Alright, to the dyno we go. Not to the car wash, to the dyno. Alright, let's see, where are we supposed to be at? 305 horsepower, 365 foot pounds of torque. I the roller A. What? Huh. So I am missing it. Oops. Anything else am I missing? Let's try this one again. Yes, I want to proceed or I wouldn't be in here. Five hundred and eleven horsepower. It's not bad for a little street car. Looking a little twitchy there. But all right, folks, that will conclude our video for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. This. And if you have any ideas on what I should do for the next ones, uh, don't be, don't be, um, just drop something in the comments. Let me know. All right, thank you, and have yourself a good day. Bye.